What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I want to present to you the newest tech from Juintech and that is the Smooth 4 Smartphone Gimbal. This gimbal will transform shaky, unstable footage into beautiful, gliding, smooth shots. Now, who is this tool for? This tool is perfect for those of you who travel a lot and can't take a ton of gear with you. You can take your smartphone, like an iPhone or any Samsung phone, any phone that you have, and transform it into a filmmaking workhorse. So how does a gimbal like the Smooth 4 work? Well, it stabilizes movement in the X, Y, and Z axis, also known as the three dimensions. It uses three electronic motors and IMU sensors that stabilize movement even if you're jumping or running around. Let's take a closer look. In the box, we'll find a styrofoam case that holds your Smooth 4. I strongly encourage you to get a separate case because this case is not meant for traveling. It's just meant for storage. When you open up the case, you'll see the Smooth 4, the connection cable, and you will notice that they threw in a plastic tabletop tripod. This tabletop tripod is a must because it helps you set down the gimbal either when you're tired or if you need to make a balancing adjustment. Just like that. Setting up the gimbal is just as easy as it sounds. First thing you have to do is take the gimbal out of standby mode. How do you do that? All you have to do is just push open the roll arm and you notice that it has a little clip that holds it in place. This is something that I wish all gimbals had. That way it doesn't roll around during transport. So it comes with this nice little clip design here. You can just easily push it up and it releases the roll arm. Once you've done that, you can take your smartphone and place it within the clamps. They are spring-loaded clamps, so make sure that you are gentle with it, otherwise the springs might snap. Once you clamp it down, push the phone all the way to the pitch motor. So that way it sits into the rubber groove nice and snug. Make sure that when you are clamping down your phone that it is properly oriented. That way the lens is not obstructed by any of the motors. Just like any other gimbal, you want to balance your camera as best you can. That's why we have a balancing adjustment on the roll arm here with this silver dial. Once we loosen it up, we can push on that roll arm and it will go in or push out the roll arm and it will go out. So this depends on how big your phone is. So try to get it to the point where the roll motor is not working too hard. Because we have limited areas of adjustment, you won't get perfect balance on your phone. So keep that in mind. Just make sure that the roll arm is pushed out for those larger phones. The motors on this gimbal are strong enough to support up to 210 grams, which will support most mobile phones on the market today. We also have the option of positioning our phones into portrait mode. So for those of you who like to shoot a lot of portraits or a lot of Instagram videos, this is perfect for you. All we have to do is gently push the phone out and then loosen up the dial on the back of the phone clamp and turn the entire phone clamp so that it becomes vertical. Now we're ready to turn on the gimbal. Press down the power button until all blue lights on the power indicator light up. Before we talk about some of the features of this gimbal, let's talk about the build quality. Now if we take a close look at the Smooth 4, you'll notice that it has a plastic body with aluminum accents. Now I did opt out for the white version of the Smooth 4. There's also a black version available. The white version of the Smooth 4 is limited edition, so there's not as many as the black versions out there. So this one is going to be a little bit more expensive than the black version. As we look on the underside of the Smooth 4, we have a quarter 20 inch port meant for accessories such as tripods or any other sorts of stands. On the front of our gimbal, we have our main control panel, which is responsible for accessing different phone settings and gimbal settings. On the side of the Smooth 4, we have a dial here that is responsible for pulling focus and zoom control. No other gimbal on the market has an integrated follow focus system for smartphones. So keep that in mind, this makes this gimbal much more different than anything else that's on the market today. And I'm not just saying that, I really do like this feature of having this dial here for zooming and pulling focus. It just makes it much more ergonomic and easier to use. On the back of the gimbal, we have a dual trigger system. The top trigger, if pressed, turns your gimbal into what we call foam go mode. This makes your gimbal much more responsive. I'll demo that for you very shortly. The bottom trigger enables full follow mode, which enables your pan and tilt to follow your movement. On the right side of the gimbal, we will have a USB-C input. This is so you can charge your gimbal and update its firmware. Now that we got all of that stuff out of the way, let's talk about some of the features. 
we have a gimbal mode switch going from lock mode to pan follow mode. Pan follow mode will allow you to only track your pan movement, but not your tilt. The lock mode will lock all three axes of movement, so nothing will follow your movement. However, once we press down the bottom trigger, you will have full follow enabled. All three axes of movement will follow your motion. In pan follow mode, you can also hand position the tilt. Those were just some of the basic options for this gimbal. In order to enable the rest of the buttons on the gimbal, we have to launch the ZY Play app. You can download it from the Apple Store or Android. The ZY Play app allows your phone to be completely manual, so you can control things like white balance, frame rate, and resolution. And now, focus with this handy dandy follow focus dial. We have our standard record button, we have the menu button, which allows you to access the gimbal's menu so you can change settings. You can access other interesting video features as well, such as vertigo, and I'm gonna cover that in just a moment. You can even turn on your phone's flash by holding the center button here. We also have a center dial here, which allows you to conveniently change camera and gimbal settings. The lower left button here allows us to toggle between pulling focus and zooming. By looking at the test footage, you can see how smooth the zoom ins and zoom outs are. You can also see the subtle changes of focus between the foreground and the background. It creates a smooth movement and doesn't jitter. When it comes down to ergonomics, the feel of the Smooth 4 is very close to the feel of a regular TV remote. All buttons can be easily accessed with your thumb or your forefinger. Now I want to talk about a certain function that no other gimbal on the market currently has, and that is the vertigo function. Did you ever watch an Alfred Hitchcock film where the foreground seems like it's being stretched away from the background? Well, here's an example shot of what it looks like. This is shot by my buddy in Las Vegas, Brett Halliday. He's also known as InfoSmercial. Go ahead and check out his channel in the link in the description box below because he is the smartphone gimbal master. So what he did is obviously he used the Smooth 4 and he accessed the ZY Play app and went into the vertigo shot option. He keyframed his zoom from being telephoto to wide. And what he did was move in opposition to that zoom. So if the zoom was pulling out, he was moving in and vice versa. So that's how you get that foreground background stretch effect. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned phone go mode. So if we press the upper portion of the trigger here, this will make your gimbal a lot more sensitive to your movement. So if you wanna create quick, fast pans or tilts, this is the perfect function for you. So this is with phone go on and this is how the gimbal behaves with phone go turned off. You can see that it's not as fast as when phone go is pressed like this. Now, are there any improvements that I would want on the next generation of the Smooth Series gimbals? Definitely a higher payload. 210 grams seems to be the standard for most smartphone gimbals, but RED is soon releasing their smartphone, and I feel like it's gonna be heavier too heavy actually for this gimbal. So I definitely wanna see a heavier payload capacity for the future generation of these gimbals. So thank you guys so much for watching my review video on the Smooth 4 gimbal. Don't forget to give it a like, also share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on. Do that immediately because there are a ton of tutorials that I'm about to release on the Smooth 4 because there are just too many features for me to mention in this video. So definitely make sure you click on that bell icon to get notified of my latest content. I can't wait to see what you guys create and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.